and I'm going to pull the two strings on the right side of the racket first. This is just, just the way I've been starting mains recently. I like to use my starting clamp down at the bottom, so when it starts at the bottom, I'll pull the two strings on the right side of the racket. This puts a little less uh, stress on this string here because of the friction up here at the racket. I'm going to clamp these two strings and then run in the first string on the left side of the racket. Alright, that gives me two strings on each side of the racket. Now I'm going to run in the third main on the left side of the racket. Now I'm going to move back over to this side of the racket. Remove my starting clamp. And I'll finish up the mains on this side of the racket. I'm only going to run the four uh, center mains on each side of the racket. And then I'll use the darker string on the outside of the racket. Now that I've got these center mains ran in, I'm going to use the starting clamp down here at the bottom to hold this last main. A normal tie off right here is the fifth grommet hole here, so I'm going to start on the sixth grommet hole going through this way. This string will be ran the same as that one, so I'm going over this cross. Then I'm going to use another starting clamp to clamp that string. I'm using two half sets of string here, uh, which will be plenty for uh, this particular racket. But uh, you'll have to determine how much string you need for your racket. Now I'm going to start this one just like I did the main strings. I'm going to pull on this string and this string. I'm double pulling the two of them at the same time. So now I'm going to pull my tension and clamp my strings. Now I'm going to run the outside main and that'll put me down at the bottom of the racket. I'll have to get around my clamp here, but it's really fairly simple. Just put a tug on a little bit, and it'll snap right in there. Now I'm going to clamp these strings. Now I'm going to double pull the two bottom crosses. 
Now, I've got one, two, three, so this would be opposite from what this one is. So I want to go over that string and under this one. Anytime I'm an odd number of strings down, one, three, five, whatever, I'll always be opposite the string above it. Well, come on, get in there. Now I'm going to double pull this cross here, or these two crosses. And the reason I'm double pulling them is because I've only got one string here to clamp to. Because I'm double pulling them, I want to make sure I get these strings fairly tight, so I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit. Then I'm going to move this clamp over to these two strings. These, these are a little bit further apart, so it's a little harder to get it on there. I'm going to run my last cross on the bottom. I wish I could get that clamp out of my way. I like to try to keep my, my crosses straight as I go, so I'm just trying to straighten them up. I'm going to run in the fifth main on this side. Now well, I've got two cross clamps in my way here, don't I? get these clamps out of the way. I'm going to pull tension on this string now just to get this other clamp out of the way here. Now this one is connected to this uh, last white outside main. So I can take this clamp off and move it over to here to get it all out of the way. Well. Alright, now I'm free down here to do all the work I need to do. I'm going to run in another outside main. final outside me.
Right, now I don't have any place to clamp this string across here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the white strings and string all my crosses up. Then I can run my third cross down and clamp it to the fourth cross. Right, the, the knot that I'm tying here is actually a VS starting knot. Let me show you this knot while I'm, while I'm at it. I'm going to try to zoom in on this knot. Whoa! Just a little bit. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull tension on this first loop in it. That's good. And then I'm going to tighten this other one up. Uh, this clamp right here pretty much straightened up when I did that. But I still got a big bow in there because I've deflected the string so much. But let me show you how I tighten this knot up. I'll lock the turntable so it doesn't move. But now I'm looking at this knot here and I'm just going to pull up on this tail to tighten it up. And while I'm holding this knot, or got this knot tied, I'm going to hold tension on this while I release this clamp. All right, once the clamp is released, then I'll let it go. That way I get to a very, very, very little drawback on the string, and I can trip it off. What I'm doing now is I've got a loop of string on the starting clamp, and then I've clamped uh, the starting clamp on my string. I can pull on the scrap piece of string, and it pulls tension on the string. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull tension on the string again just to take the drawback out of here and clamp that on the outside. Now I can take this string and run my crosses. I'm going to run four crosses on top just because I messed up and used uh, not quite enough string right here. Just in case you're wondering, the white string is uh, top spin, Prince top spin, and the green string is Prince synthetic gut. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull tension on the green string. That'll free up this clamp so I can get all these bends out of here. Straighten my string up. This starting clamp is holding the white string so I can free up this clamp. Well, now I see that uh, my other tile fold up here was four. I should have used that for the mains and this one for the crosses. Uh, doesn't matter. It's done now. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to try a pro knot because I think it'll be a little bit easier. I'm going to do what you shouldn't do and pull this with a pair of pliers. There you go. Uh, one thing I could have done now is, you know, it, it actually depends on uh, how many mains and how many crosses you have. But I like to leave three strings on uh, the outside three strings on top, and if I'm stringing down at the bottom, four strings or three strings or five strings.